Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Bluekit. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna to go to bluekit.com and you will see a picture like this, an image like this. Um, this is what my page looks like. I currently have one set that I created and I'm going to show you how this works. So the first thing you need to do is you'll go to, if you want to make a set, you go to create. Um, obviously you'll put your title in here and then you'll put the description. So if you're teaching a grammar lesson, you'll describe what this is all about. You can add an image or whatever. Um, you can decide if you want to make it public or private. Private only for you. Public, this means uh, the rest of the internet can access this. Um, you can either create your questions manually or you can import from a CSV file, so that's an Excel sheet, or Quizlet. So maybe you found a Quizlet online, you can import Quizlet and use it with Blookit. So, done. Let's and manual let's say create mm, so over here you'll add your questions so there are different things you can do here so add question again so it's similar to Kahoot you put your question there uh, and you type your answer okay and then obviously you need at least two it's options. When you check the one, it means that this one would be the answer. You could have more than one answers as well. Alright, and then save. And this question one. And then you just repeat that all the way through. Um, yeah. When you're done, you can click save, set, and there you go, it's ready. So I just want to show you what it looks like. So we'll go into mine. Um, I can edit mine. These are the questions I've created. It's vocabulary questions. I can go back. I can also click on host. So if you want to host, you just click here. Host is going to get the game started. And this, we can choose one of these games. You've got the Crypto Hack, you've got the Gold Quest, um, Fishing Frenzy, Monster Brawl, all of these games over here. Um, you can choose any one of these, even Tower Defense 2 as well. Um, and then if you can see you get the difficulty level on the right hand side. Um, they are all different and they, they serve different skills as well. Um, they, they talk about the ideal time and the questions and all of those things. So you click on host. Alright. So as you can see here, this is the title of the game we are playing. You can click host now, there's time and there's gold. Um, for the time, you can change the time to the number of minutes that you want to play the game. Um, and then also for the gold. Yeah, and then you can either show the instructions at the beginning, you can allow late joining. And then also the naming, students can name themselves as well. Let's go and host now. And this is what, what the page looks like. Students can either go to this website, play.bluekit.com, and they can enter the game ID that's displayed on the screen. Or the easiest one is obviously to scan the barcode. All right, so this is what the student screen looks like from their mobile phones or their app, uh, iPads or tablets. So you can enter your name. After they've scanned it, they can enter their names. For example, Sarah. Okay, click. So they have to just click on the arrow to, to join. And this is what it looks like while they are waiting for the host to, to start the game. Okay, so um, Sarah has just joined. Ah, she's there. Nice. Okay, so she's joined. We can wait for the other students to join as well. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and click start because this is just a demo. Okay, so obviously this is the big screen that the students can see and it gives them the instructions. They need to answer the questions and they get gold and they can take gold from each other as well. The most gold for the four minutes wins. Okay, 
So giving the instructions, look up at the screen, look at the host. Okay, and these are the questions now. So for example, to make the air or water unhealthy and dirty, choose the correct answer. So yeah, I've chosen the correct answer and you click anywhere to go next and then you choose a chest. Let's go with this one. Yeah, so you can get gold or you, you could have gotten 20 gold and something else. So as you get the, the questions correct, you get to keep more gold. And then obviously if you get something wrong, um, you don't get anything. So you keep going through the questions like this. Yeah, got as you can see, this is the leaderboard. As they answer the questions, they get gold. Whoever gets more points or whoever has the most points at the time will go to the top. They'll Sorry, I got that 10 gold pop. And then she got 100 gold bars. Yeah. Now, it obviously is m a lot more fun with uh, the rest of the students where they can take gold from each other. They they like that aspect of the... Obviously, this is now like the final standings. Usually, it will say first, second, third. And, and then at the bottom of the screen, it will show you the rest of the names of the students and the order in which they've come. You can also click on view report. Yeah, and as you can see, it shows how many they got correct and how many they got incorrect. Um, this is obviously great for formative assessment and to check students' level, you know, and check the understanding. Okay, so let's go back to Sarah's. Let's wait for the results. Okay, Sarah got first place, which is outstanding. Um, and on the on the screen, you can also see that you can join Bluekit, you can sign up, you can log in, you can make a student. Yeah, that's it. Um, now students love this game we've played kahoot we've played quizzes but they really love blue kit um, you get gold you get prizes and then you also you can also swap up your gold you can take or steal gold from other you know um, yeah but it's really really a great game to, to play if you like this kind of content and you'd like me to make more please let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe